What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt, and today we're talking about Liam Eichenberg, left tackle from Notre Dame. Is this somebody the Colts should go after, or should they look at somebody else in the second round? I'm going to give my thoughts on that, but before I do, if you're new, please click the subscribe button. It would help out a lot if you did so. Also, click that bell icon so you're notified when a video goes up, as well as when we go live on here. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know your thoughts on Liam Eichenberg. So, I watched a lot of Notre Dame games. I'm a big fan of Notre Dame, so I've seen every single game since like 2004. Um, big, big fan. And, it, you know, these past two seasons, maybe even three seasons, it has been very clear to me that Liam Eichenberg is the number one offensive tackle on Notre Dame. It didn't matter how good the offensive line was, he was number one. Um, I truly believe if this was any other draft class, Liam Eikenberg would be a first round talent. He is really talented. And there, I mean, it's just a shame because there are so many really good offensive tackles in this draft that he's going to fall. So, you know, that's to be expected. But he is really good. And he's so good. And I'll pull up the numbers. He only allowed a total of four quarterback hits in two seasons. Um, he only allowed one this past season. And three the year before, no sacks in two years. I believe the last game he allowed a sack in was against Stanford. And that was, I believe, in October of 2018. Um, he allowed a total of 23 quarterback hurries these past two seasons. Really talented. And he's rated as an 89.9 overall, which to put that, put that in perspective with that 89.9, that is a higher grade than what Ronnie Stanley got coming out of Notre Dame when he was drafted. Um, and we obviously know how good Ronnie Stanley is. Ronnie Stanley is the highest paid left tackle in the NFL. He has done great things for Baltimore. So um, seeing Liam Eichenberg rated higher and just seeing the production he's given Notre Dame is something a lot of teams are probably pretty happy about. Um, so that is something to keep an eye on. Um, and I agree with these. His biggest strength is his leverage and establishing it. I totally agree with that. And his hands are definitely the weakest part, which I believe he's going to improve. I believe that will improve, and we won't really have to worry about that too often if um, we're looking at it. Um, he's 6'6", 302 pounds, big guy, really strong. Um, he loves putting people to the ground, um, and he's going to sacrifice himself for the quarterback no matter what. It doesn't matter the circumstance. He's going to do whatever it takes to make sure our quarterback does not get hit. So do I want the Colts to draft him? And I believe, yes, I would definitely take him in the second round. Because to me, I still feel like the biggest um, concern for our team and our biggest need is the edge rush. Let's get that fixed, okay? Hopefully Jalen Phillips is available at 21. I believe they're going to trade back, but hopefully they can get Jalen Phillips or, you know, a Quiddy Pay, a Gregory Russo, Jason Away, somebody like that. Hopefully they can get a talent like that if they trade back. So that's where I think we need to focus. And if they don't, then that's where they'll go off into tackle. But to me right now, I don't think that's really a big concern. So in the second round, I feel like that's where we need to go offensive tackle and that's where I would go Liam Eikenberg. Because like I said, the guy is strong. He's big. He's powerful. He has that versatility with him. I like him a lot. Um, I believe he's going to fix his hand issues in the NFL because he's going to have to. So I feel like when you have an offensive line coach like we have, I feel like we're going to get that solved. So if I'm Indianapolis, I absolutely draft Liam Eikenberg. He just offers so much for you. He offers so much productivity that I feel like in the second round at pick 54, if he's available, that's a steal. So, yes, I would go after him. Now, do I think Chris Ballard in it is interested in Liam Eikenberg? And I think Chris Ballard is. I think he has Liam Eikenberg on his list of players he wants to draft. Um He's obviously not going to draft him in the first round. He's a second round guy. So I think that's where Chris Ballard is circling him at is okay. At 54, if he's available, we're going to go after him. So that's where I think he has him. 
And if he's available, yes, I think Chris Ballard is very interested in going after him because I think at that point, I can't see any other offensive tackle that would be better than Liam Eikenberg. That would be available at pick 54. Now, do I think the Colts are going to draft Liam Eikenberg? And I think the answer is yes, depending on where they pick, though, because I think the Colts are going to trade back. So if they trade back, it really depends who's available and it depends when they're available. I think Liam Eikenberg is definitely a top four offensive tackle that they got on their board right now. I think among that is um, Tevin Jenkins. Uh, Dare saw, you know, I think maybe Sam Cosme might be on that as well. And Liam Eikenberg is there too. So I think he's definitely in the mix there. Um, but I really think who's going to be available? Is any edge available? Are the edges gone? Because if they're gone at that point, I think they could go uh, offensive tackle. Um, I don't see them going receiver with their first pick. I think it would be either edge or offensive tackle. So if he's available when they're looking for their offensive tackle, I do think they will draft him. I think he just offers a lot. And really, I think at pick 54, if the Colts get him there, that's a steal. I mean, it's a big steal. So thank you for watching. If you're new, please click the subscribe button. It would help out a lot if you did that. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Click that bell icon so you're notified when a video goes up as well as when we go live. And let me know your thoughts on Liam Eikenberg. Thank you for watching. I've been Matt, and I will see you next time. And of course, bleep blue.